Okay, so meron ako ditong dalawang questions. Simple questions lang ito. No? The first question is all about how much or how many is the number of shares issued and outstanding. Pangalawang question naman is all about share premium. So, ito lang yung ating questions. Umpisahan na natin sa question number one. ABC Corporation's records included the following shareholders' equity accounts. Meron siyang preference share capital with 15 par value, ano? 200,000 shares authorized. At ang value nitong preference share capital ay 2.55 million. Meron siyang share premium for the preference shares. Ang amount ay 150,000 pesos. And ordinary share capital, no par, pero 50 pesos yung stated value. 100,000 shares naman ang authorized. Ang amount nito ay 3 million. Ang question is, in the statement of changes in equity, what is the number of shares issued and outstanding? Ang choices natin, ang letter A, for ordinary, it's 60,000 while for the preference, is it's 170,000. For letter B, ang ordinary ay 60,000, ang preference ay 180,000. Sa letter C, 63 and 170. And sa letter D, 63,000 and 180,000. Now, itong choices na ito, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito ay number of shares. Hindi ito yung peso value. Okay? So, papaano ba natin ito i-compute? Dito ano, mabilis lang ito, maiksi lang ito, pero careful kayo. Kasi limited lang yung available na details, so at least ano, wala ibang masyadong panggulo. Pero yun nga lang, baka naman kayo ang nalilito dyan. How do we get the number of shares issued and outstanding? Now, kung wala naman tayong treasury shares, ano, ibig sabihin, the number of shares issued is also the same with your number of shares outstanding. So, para ma-compute natin yan, meron tayo ditong preference share capital na 2.55 million. And then, meron din tayo ditong ordinary share capital na 3 million. So, unahin ko lang ano, ilagay ko lang muna siya dito. That is 3 million kapag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung ordinary share capital. 2.55 million pag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay yung preference share capital. Pero, para ma-compute natin magkano yung issued and outstanding, edi eh i-divide natin ito saan? Sa par value. So, kung meron tayo ditong preference share, ang par value niya ay 15, at sa ordinary share naman, ang par value niya ay 50. Okay? So, i-divide lang natin itong dalawa. Okay? That one. And for the preference, this one. So, that the answer is 60,000 for ordinary and 170,000 for preference. The answer here is letter A. Okay, 60,000 and 170,000. Meron bang effect etong share premium? Wala po, ano? Because the share premium is simply the excess amount, ano, over your par or stated value. So, magagaling lang din naman yan. Preference share yan, so dito po yan sa issuance kapag more than the 15 peso par value ang issue price. Okay? So, that is for question number one. Now, for question number two, this is the uh, details. ABC Corporation, which was organized on January 1, has an authorized capital of 100,000 shares of 200 peso par. During 2020, ABC had the following transactions affecting shareholders' equity. Noong January 10, nag-issue ng 25,000 shares at 220 a share. Basically, itong mga amount na ito, that is your issue price or the fair value of the shares issued. Noong February 18, ang um, issued ay 1,000 shares in exchange for legal services when the fair value was 240 a share. And doong March 25, the issued shares ay 5,000 in exchange of a track of land with a fair value of 260,000. So, ano ang question dito? What amount should ABC report for share premium on December 31? Is it letter A, 840,000? Letter B, 800,000? 
Letter C, 540,000 or letter D, 500,000. Oh, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, share premium. So, basically, that is the excess over the par value. So, titignan natin yung mga issuance. Okay? So, that, tignan natin. Noong January 10, nag-issue ng 25,000 shares. Okay? 25,000 shares at 220 a share. Magkano ba ang par value? The par value in the given problem is 200 peso. Okay? So, 220 pesos minus 200 pesos Okay, that is 20 pesos. Okay? 20 pesos. O, i-multiply natin ito doon sa shares issued, which is itong 25,000. Para makuha natin yung share premium noong January 10. And then, we do it for February 18 and March 25. Dito naman sa February 18, ang issue price ay 240. So, ibawas natin doon sa 200 peso par, meron tayo ditong 40 pesos na excess. Multiply natin ngayon yan dito sa 1,000 shares. Okay? So, 40,000 po ang ating share premium nung February 18. Samantalang, okay, I hope you can follow. Uh, this is a simple question, ano? 260 pesos yung issue price or the fair value. Less natin sa 200 peso par. So, this is 60 pesos yung difference. O, edi multiply lang din natin sa number of shares issued. Regardless kung ano ba yung Ano pa yung consideration received? Ito ba ay cash or for legal services or for a property or equipment or in this case for a tract of land? Uh, irregardless, no? Uh, kung meron mang word na irregardless. Okay? So, 300,000 po ang March 25 na share premium. Kunin po natin itong tatlo, ang sum nito. The answer here is letter A. 840,000 pesos. That is our share premium for question number 2. Okay? So, hanggang dyan lamang po ano, yung aking dalawang simple illustration for shares and share premium. Kung meron kayong question, please let me know.